Well, hey, Troy. It's been a while since I've seen you. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Mel. Thanks for asking. Well, hey, hey Troy, I have, I have a question for you today. Um, you went through changes in life, um, especially when you retired from playing football. And from what I understand of being a team player or playing with other friends on the same team for many years, it must have been um, difficult when you retired. Did you miss your, your football friends? Oh, yes. I had to get used to being alone or with different people. It was somewhat difficult. Yeah, I, I'm sure sure that it was, Troy. You know, many of us and my friends have experienced um, some separation in this past year and a half because of this COVID thing, because of this, this pandemic. And we haven't always been able to see some people for a while. Yeah, me too. It's a bummer sometimes. Well, yeah, I believe it is a bummer sometimes. And I believe that some... Sometimes um, some people really struggled with being isolated or alone and may have experienced what some people would call cabin fever. Cabin fever? What is cabin fever? Well, well cabin fever is um, a term that's used to describe when someone is confined to their home for a period of time and they may exhibit some symptoms um, that might include restlessness and being irritable and being lonely because they've been by themselves in isolation or they haven't been able to go out into the community for a long time. Oh, well, I can see. So they're sort of holed up in a cabin. Yeah, you're right. They're, they're sort of holed up in, in a cabin and they haven't been able to go anywhere. Wow. Well, what should we do about that? What should we do about having cabin fever? Yeah. Well, if we have cabin fever, um, we should try to find some outlets that help us feel better. Um, for instance, during this COVID time, I am glad that I've been able to talk with my friends via FaceTime, on my phone, or on an iPad, or for the computer. Um, we actually have our phone that we can talk to each other. Um, on our computers, we've had Zoom meetings. We've had team meetings, and there are some very creative ways that we've been able to stay connected with each other. Yes, I think those are good ideas. Shall we continue to do that? Well, absolutely, Troy. Uh, we want to continue to do some of those things and to not be alone. Do you know the Bible has some words about being alone or lonely? In fact, in Genesis 2.18, it says, The Lord said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. Remember, he created Adam and then he created Eve so that Adam would have a helper and a companion. Um, the scriptures talk about how we are better together. Ecclesiastes 4 says two people, me and you, are better than one, for they can help each other in everything they do. Suppose one of them falls down, then the other can help the other up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up, then feels sorry for that person. Yeah, um, like being a part of a football team. Um, there would always be people around to help me up when I tackled somebody and fell to the ground. Well, that's exactly it, Troy. You were a part of a team that worked together and you were never alone. Um, Jesus doesn't want us to be alone. In John 14, he says, I will not leave you like children who don't have parents, you know, orphans. I will come to you. And before long, the world will not see me anymore. He was predicting his leaving, but you will see me because I live. You will live also. God has promised us good life with others, that we can enjoy life, that we can trust others, that we can have relationship with others. And in all of this, um, we can combat cabin fever and being alone. Now, I understand sometimes we need some time alone from other people, not being around people all the time, and that's okay. But if we are separated from our friends and family for too long, it does begin to cause us to have some issues and maybe to be irritable and to be sad and to feel lonely and to have cabin fever. So, Troy, let's make sure we work at our relationship, okay? Okay. So that we talk to each other and that we are sharing our lives with each other. For those are good things, for God has made us not to be alone. So if you're experiencing cabin fever... Well, then let's get out of the cabin and let's find ways to continue to relate to each other like we're doing here. I love it when you guys listen to these videos and when you let me know that you are connecting with people and that it's going well for you. So hang in there. All right. I wish for you a day filled with joy 
and a day filled with peace.